All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Uh, following up from our major lawsuit win against Cav Cav Kavanaugh uh, and Triller Inc., um, Ryan has been completely losing it on social media. I've been tracking, the Fupa Troopers have been tracking it, just kind of, he's been, I mean, it's public polls. It's not like deep undercover stuff. But he has been more unhinged than usual and we're talking about a guy who has asked people to report me to the fbi we're talking about a guy who's put a bounty on me uh for information on me um so the thing is that following the dub i was really hoping you know could have gone one of uh, two ways one option would be maybe he would get a wake-up call have a uh, come to jesus moment as they call it and say, hey, you know what? This thing's dumb. I don't have a chance. Maybe some investors there would be like, dude, Ryan, what are you doing? Why are you wasting company money suing some dumb YouTuber? I mean, you're talking about big investors in like Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart and uh, Michelle Obama investor. I don't know if Michelle Obama, but like there's a bunch of celebrities involved in this. But you'd think that somebody would get a hold of him and say, dude, cut it out. So that was one option. The other option is that he digs in deeper. He becomes more paranoid, more delusional, more aggressive. And the option, sadly, has become the latter. He is losing it more and more. And um, I really just want Ryan to leave me alone. At what point is this man just harassing me, Eli? I mean, genuinely. What am I? I just want him to leave me alone. Look, let me read this tweet to you, okay? This dropped the 15th at 2, 2 a.m., so you know he was drunk. Deleted it. Oh, that's today. That was literally just last night in the, or this morning. 2 a.m., this guy's tweeting about me. You know he's drunk. As Brad the Bull, you know, pounds his wife in the corner. He's just crying, drunk, rage tweeting. Here he goes. Let's have some fun and up the stakes. This will be good fun for H3 followers to guess what we do or don't have. Bro, I don't need to guess. I know what you have. <laughs> you have nothing. Otherwise, you wouldn't be putting bounties. And also, I know you have nothing because there is nothing. 25000 to the person who provides the identity along with legal and verifiable proof of Throst and Popoki 35 must be absolute. Yeah, bro, I think you just gave away that you have nothing. First person to provide gets paid. Not everybody don't rush all at once. People are rushing in with proof. So uh, these are the mods, once again, who are... I guess, are editing his Wikipedia page that he's losing his mind over. And I got to say, huge shout out to Throst and Popoki35. Not, not, not because of anything they do on his, on his Wikipedia. I'm saying because he is literally a billionaire, is shouting them and harassing these innocent moderators. I'm just saying, is the, you even saying shout out to them is going to be like a fifth lawsuit somehow. Well, whatever. Bring it on, bro. Uh, you know what I mean? Every lawsuit he piles on at this point just exposes what a what a uh, grudge, an actual grudge suit it is. Oh, we get a record or something. I wonder what's the record for most times one person sued another person. Can you fact check that for me? I'm trying. Ela's going to fact check that for me. Yeah, so... um. Anyway, I was saying is Throst and Popoki 35, innocent, good Samaritan wiki mods who are being targeted by this absolute lunatic. He's putting a bounty on their head, trying to prove that I'm them or something. Also, if he was able to, let's say hypothetically, he's able to prove that Throst is me. What can he do with that information? I mean... You know, I don't even think it's illegal or defamation or anything. Even if I am Throst himself, the the infamous Throst himself. You met, you guys remember that Spartacus? I am Spartacus. I think we need to start the I am Throst 
trend. The Romans came looking for Spartacus, the great warrior, a uh, rebel, and he stands up and he goes, I am Spartacus. But his comrades would not let him turn himself in. And in solidarity, they all stood up beside him and said, no, I am Spartacus. I am Spartacus. And they all stood up in unison. I am Spartacus. You know what? What's your name, Ela? Thros, she said. I am Thros. If Kavanaugh comes for Thros, he comes for all of us. We are all Thros on this day. Anyway, that's just one of a billion. So there's, uh, he also, he took my advice. In my last video, I said, Ryan, 5,000 is not enough to get my crew to sell me out. Because who actually would have that information credibly? It would have to be one of the crew. No, he's trying to get to Ian. Yeah, I said, I said, I don't think 25 is even enough, Ryan, to get to Ian. Maybe Ian, if he did have information, which he doesn't, you'd have to offer like a million, I think, to flip Ian. <laughs> but he doesn't have the information, but you only know if you offer a million. 25,000, not enough, bro. So I'm not finding exactly what you want. Ela's giving me an update. Okay, Ela has no update on the... Uh, Hila says there's a guy who sued over 2,600 people. Was his name uh, Ryan Kavanaugh by chance? <laughs> so Ryan's on his way to becoming the, the world record leader. Guys, um, this it, check this one out, Hila. I don't know if you saw this. This post was on the subreddit. Why is Kev Kev following and tweeting me? So, dude, he's gone into a rabbit hole. Okay, you guys will see. That he is on a thir he is on a search for this Thros character. He's there's someone on a Shrek fan forum by the name of Thros. He's messaging. I swear to you. On on Shrek. On a Shrek fan forum, we'll get there. So here he messages this random person. Uh, why is Kev Kev messaging? So he f not Bayong. He said hello and followed them. So it's like, I don't know if he thought maybe, oh, this is the guy. He has a picture of me with Alfredo with a crown. <laughs> so I don't know if he's trying to chase down any lead. Apparently, he's a fan of mine. So he says, well, there's a chance he's thrust. What are you going to do with thrust when you find him, Ryan? Like, genuinely. Uh, a new, p another Kev Kev post. Oh, apparently, so this guy was in Ryan's DMs, Ela, and he showed him his undeniable proof that, that I am Throst. Check this out. Apparently, this is actually, you know what, I'm not even going to front. Someone else sent me this, too. Ryan, you're an idiot. You have moles everywhere. Anyone you're talking, you're such a dumbass. You know everyone's talking to you is just goofing on you, dumbass. Everyone's just trying to creep on his bounty. Dude, the best would be if he actually paid someone, you know? So check this out. Kavanaugh showed me his undeniable proof. You watching this? Yeah. So he said, he, he sent this. It said, um, I have undeniable proof that Ethan Klein's connection with Wikipedia user Throst. I compared the last five IP addresses from the Wikipedia account to his YouTube channels, H3 Podcast, as well as H3 H Production, I was able to undeniably confirm that Throst is, in fact, Ethan Klein. And you will be able to see that from yourself with the image attached. Now, Ryan Kavanaugh, who is the majority owner of a technology company, is showing a notepad with a random IP numbers. May I ask, Ryan, how do you get the IP address for a YouTube channel? Do you understand that that doesn't make sense? How do you pull an IP address for a YouTube channel? Or even, for that matter, oh, from Thros? Okay, te I guess theoretically... So let's see here. Let's take a look. So here's what here. So here's Thros IP, and then here is H3 Podcast IP. Hmm. Do they even match? Oh, they match. There's a match, boys and girls. 
The notepad proves it. I really hope he paid this guy, man. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, so I have actually seen this from someone else, so I actually know it's real. And yeah, sorry. Sorry to bust the bubble there, Cav Cav, but he's not the only mole working. I mean, they're not working for me. I see things. I know things. That's it. Come on now. Uh, the top comment is, yes, this is real. I know it is. Yes, this is real. I've been in the DMs with Ryan. It's amazing how far you can get when you're polite. The moment I proved to him that those are just random IPs, he explained how and explained how Mac and IP addresses worked. He deleted the I now have undeniable proof tweets yesterday. <laughs> Fucking genius. Yeah. I also proved to him that the click farming could only link back to himself and asked if his offer of a Thanksgiving dinner still stood. I don't know what that means. Was he invited for a Thanksgiving dinner? So, this guy, huh? It's pretty great. Uh, he, so, let's see. I guess he sobered up at this point and started erasing everything again. Here's the Shrek formula. Him looking for thrust on a Shrek forum. Swear to God, look at this. Ryan Kavanaugh taunting a thrust on none other than the Shrek forum. So I'm assuming he's just typing in thrust into Google and following down any lead he can. So check this out, dude. Top comment. Popoki around here somewhere? Pleasure to finally meet the mighty thrust. Username found you 35. ShrekWiki.com Hi Thrust, pleasure to finally meet you. You've been a very busy boy. Maybe we should talk sooner than later. Bro, what do you saw? You're you're on a Shrek forum, dude. Guys. This man is creepy uh creepy weird. Is he not? That Wikipedia page thing really shook him, man. So he's on the Shrek forums. Uh, here's another thrust trap. You know what thirst trap is? He's a thrust trap. You guys like that? Um, okay, you're going to like this one too, Hila. So this person writes, I jokingly changed my name to thrust on Twitter or Instagram. I think it's or TikTok. What is this? Oh, Discord? I don't know what that is. I jokingly changed my username to Thrust after Ryan accused someone of that same name of wikiing his editing his wiki. After 48 hours of no reaction, I received a DM from Ryan Kavanaugh himself, among other people trying to cash in on the 25000 offer. Yo, check this out. Hello, Ryan said. Hello, Yes? I guess it's Twitter. Um, guys, this is getting weird. This is getting very weird, guys. Is anyone else disturbed by all this? Just me? Uh, and then, okay. This is actually when I start to feel really bad for Thrust and Pokey, these two mods he's targeted. Look, I mean, this post is, this is actually important, Hila. So po so this is a post in the wiki there's like a chat log on his page or against users. And so Thrust and Pokey continue to be harassed by CavCav. This is a post on Wikipedia about Ryan Kavanaugh. It says Ryan Kavanaugh continues to publicly attack Wikipedia editors. Ryan Kavanaugh has tweeted calling out specific editors, Popoki and me. So this is by Thrust himself. The legend speaks. He's kind of got a Banksy vibe at this point. Nobody knows who he is, but he's a beautiful, he's a master artist. Maybe he's cute. He is cute. Thrust is cute. It's the only explanation. Yeah. Ryan Kavanaugh's tweeted calling out specific editors, Popoki35 and me, again accusing us of having some sort of connection to and being paid by a third party. After the tweet was published, there have been multiple multiple attempts by people to log into my account and one attempt to change my password. Is there anything we can do about this sort of harassment, like perhaps imposing a site-wide ban on RK77713? I wonder what RK stands for. 
uh, and his sock puppets, who I now think we all agree to be Ryan Kavanaugh himself. Ryan Kavanaugh appeared to have filed a lawsuit implying Wikipedia editors to at least stop him from repeating these defamatory accusations. Um, These guys, Popoki and Throst, are on the receiving end of actual harassment for doing a public service of editing Wikipedia pages. And actually what Ryan's attempting to do, which is really impressive that they're not backing down, is just harassing them and scaring them to the point of just disappearing, right? Most people would be like, this, I don't want to, what, why should I deal with this? He's just trying to scare them. Um, so, and I'm surprised it's not working, frankly, uh, but, you know, I just uh, commend Throst and Popoki35 for sticking to their guns and doing the right thing and not being intimidated by this psychopath. Yep. I wish there was something I could do for those guys. Not sure what. I guess other than saying if you get... I don't even know if I can say that. Ryan Kavanaugh says we're lying about winning. This was Ryan's response to us clearly winning a lawsuit, which I will remind you is a public filing. Right? It's a public filing it's not even like a secret it's publicly available to anybody Brian says the H3 podcast is not being truthful they did not win anything Re, me personally did not prevail in two cases against anyone spin hashtag spin Let's get spin trending, y'all. Hashtag wishful thinking. Let's get... Is that like the most boomer thing where they do like hashtags, whatever, like whatever. Wrap this up with a hashtag. Stay tuned. Um, Dude, it's literally publicly available, so not sure what, uh, what, what, what exactly you're trying to do with this. The bold guy vibes coming from him is really incredible. Yeah, so apparently I lied about winning a lawsuit that's publicly available and was reported on by media outlets and YouTube attorneys. Uh, You know? Also, if I didn't win... Oh, there's more. uh, If I didn't win, then why did he file to change judges for for the defamation lawsuit? But Triller's not done yet. Oh, let me turn this down a tiny bit. Um, so, unfo- so what happened was the judge who ruled in favor of us, um, there was a motion by our side to um, use the same judge in the defamation case because the, the cases are related. And you do that basically to save the time of the court to say for basically for things can be easier and move faster. Well, Ryan took the L and he filed a motion saying that this judge is prejudiced against me and therefore she should not be able to preside over the defamation case because she cannot give me a fair trial. That's a pretty big deal. And like that, that. That's a pretty big deal. I feel like that makes you look like very bad um, when to the next judge. It's like you lost. The day after they lost, they filed this thing to say, I need to switch judges because the judge who ruled that is, is biased. It's just unbelievable. And if you won, it would be like, fine, right? But mm-hmm. because he lost, the of course. Not good. Ela's saying because he lost, the judge is not good. Of course, exactly. Yeah, she's biased against bad arguments and bad attorneys. Yes. Anyway, here's Emily Baker, who I am a fan of, covering the lawsuit and talking specifically about his motion to change the, the judges. There was another big win that we didn't talk about. I talked about it in the members only live stream that we did this week, but I haven't talked about it here. So this is not the only dub 
this week. There was another one. Kavanaugh filed his defamation suit in a different court, not in the Beverly Hills court. And with that, um, Ethan's attorneys filed a notice of related case. The notice of related case states essentially, hey, new judge, this this case right here, this defamation case is substantially related to this other Triller case that's going on in this other court. And it is in the interest of judicial economy that those cases be in the same court. They involve the same parties, the same lawyers, and essentially the same, same causes facts. of action. And we know that yeah. because of how much the Triller case references Ryan Kavanaugh and statements made on the H3 podcast about Ryan Kavanaugh. Right. So with that, Ethan's lawyers, which I thought was wise, Ethan's lawyers filed the notice of related case. The court ruled on that on the 13th. Uh, no, it was not on the 13th. That's when the notice went out. Where is the ruling? That was the notice of ruling. That's the ruling on the anti-slap. Let me find it real quick. There's the order. So the order was on January 12th. So the court ruled on the related cases on January 12th. The court ruled on the anti-slap on January, hmm, what was it? 12th, same day. So same day, the court said, the court issued both rulings. And I'm going to pull that up real quick and show you what happened on the related cases. Anyway, so ba basically, the judge said, yeah, these these are obviously related. So let's combine them. <clears throat> she explains further here. It's, there's just a lot of legal what happened uh, today? stuff. So I'm just going to cut to the chase a little bit here. <clears throat> yep. Uh, seems that CavCav -Cav doesn't love this ruling and filed a paper, a 170.6 paper on the judge in Beverly Hills, which is a challenge to the judge to try to remove the judge from the case. Papering a judge is a big move. It's likely to piss them off a lot. It's not always likely to succeed. And so now Kavanaugh has said that the judge in Beverly Hills should be removed from the case for cause not just a blanket paper removed for cause. So let us take a look at this. By the way, a Emily explains really well, but the thing about this judge too is that she was so gracious. She gave them every chance to submit new evidence, to submit more evidence than she allows, to give them more time. You know, she literally went all out of her way to give them the best opportunity to present their case. And then when he loses, he goes, this judge is obviously biased and needs to be uh, thrown off the case. Honorable Helen Zirkin, Department 207 judge. This is a 170.6 peremptory challenge to the judge. I am a party to this action or special proceeding. The defamation lawsuit. The judicial officer named above before whom the trial of or hearing in this case is pending or to whom it's been assigned and it's been assigned is prejudiced against the party or the interest of the party so that the declarant cannot or believes that he or she cannot have a fair and impartial trial or hearing before the judicial officer. You like that? By the way, filed by the man himself, Brian Kavanaugh. Love him. Declaration. I yeah, so trashy scummy, filthy, all the way through. That man never misses an opportunity to take the snakiest route. You know, the other thing, too, is like with the defamation one, Yeah, like I was saying, it could go one of two paths. Well, not only did they file to um, disqualify the judge because she has a bias, apparently, uh, but they hired three additional lawyers to work on that. So they have an army of lawyers now, six lawyers to be exact, uh, on this defamation case. Gotta love it. So, guys, I am facing down a man. This guy, just leave me alone, Ryan. This guy's gonna have like a hundred lawyers by the end of this to try to prove that uh, saying he looks like Harvey Weinstein is defamation. Um, And then finally... To wrap this whole video up, Ryan uh, is again 
pretending. Do right. Do your lawyers know that you're like shit posting on Twitter? Jesus, it's so hard to format this. I gotta learn to do this better. Ryan, do you know your lawyer? Uh, your lawyers know about this shit. To the people reading this who know what this is, thank you. Thank you. Spend it well. You are truly stand-up people who don't follow the flock. Keep trailblazing. You hear that, Ela? So he's acting like he paid someone the bounty. Spend it well, my friends. To the people reading this who know what this thank you is for, thank you. Yeah, I mean, the guy is fully incompetent to run any, to barely manage his life. The fact that he has any measure of success is truly a condemnation of our entire society. Thank you to you who know who you are. Oh, it's biblical. I'm 14 and this is deep. Is this is this harassment? I feel like this is just harassment. It's freakish. It's crazy. It's scary. It's creepy. How singularly obsessed he is, and the the depths he will sink to to harass me and others who like wiki mods who are basically just doing their job, volunteering for free. Yeah. So I hope one of you guys gets paid at least. You know. That'd be good. That'd be a positive if Fooper Trooper can get paid. But if you want my opinion, Ryan, that 25,000 bounty ain't enough. If you're trying to flip one of the crew members, six digits, bro. Six digits. So keep keep raising that bounty. I'm sure something will turn up. All right, guys. Well, that's me uh, reporting from my Ryan Kavanaugh proof bunker. Stay the frick away from me, dude. Leave me alone.